before polygon also i was in blockchain space for last uh, i think two years before that also and i was doing a lot of technical uh, development uh, and uh, you know product development for but for other people we had i had not like fully started my own because i wanted to be uh, very uh, you know hands deep into that i was very active in the you know the overall uh, blockchain community in india also and there i met my other co-founder uh, jenty also uh wherein uh, you know we were clearly seeing that ethereum uh, you know although is a fabulous and uh, fantastic invention but uh, you know it 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 is it is not going to be able to have larger number of user base right so that's because you know it's inherently it's very decentralized but its bandwidth is very low and it was very clear in our minds that you know sooner or later the future will move into something like that and that's why it made sense to uh, you know do polygon i don't think that government is anti blockchain but government is anti crypto i i'm not sure that the government body still understand blockchains enough that you know without this crypto economic security which means without this crypto angle into this the blockchains you know as of now in current state do not exist that's one important thing to understand like you know i mean this this narrative uh, was prevalent in 2015 16 maybe up to 2018 where uh, you know players like uh, ibm hyperledger and all that like their a uh, goal was that private blockchains that blockchains can be private also but then in the last 4 5 years like uh, the the markets have summarily discarded uh, that private blockchain product because it's kind of an oxymoron calling a private and a blockchain like those things together cannot uh, exist i think indian government uh, and worldwide governments also slowly will reach the point where they realize that okay either we are fully anti blockchain and anti crypto or we have to accept the both last time in 2017 when it happened it was you know it was catastrophic it was scary because everybody thought that you know whether this industry or this whole segment exists or not like is it was it some sort of tulip mania or something like that with there is no product market fit or anything but now uh, you know in 2020 21 22 we have seen massive product market fits gaming is a big and big part nfts arts and uh, and this segment is a very big segment defi is a very very big segment and uh, you know it is actually getting stress tested i think like now the, the industry has very strong product market fits and it's not going anywhere it's now one of the premier industries in the world there are three different things like there is a country state and nation right a country is the physical boundary right for a, for this thing state is the you know the 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 kind of governance you have in a particular place uh, you know and then where is communist uh, capitalist whatever or democracy and and you know those kind of distinctions but the third one is the nation right the nation is basically a feeling right so india basically or uh, bharat that that is actually a feeling right so that never never goes away from any of us uh, indians right wherever we are so my personal goal for india is is has been like you know i mean i've said it multiple times and i am very happy that you know we have been able to play such a pivotal role in that that there is i feel that there is no way that india should not be a superpower in web3 india has the capability to become the digital goods factory for the globe right my personal goal for india is that you know india to become the web3 superpower and uh, you know these temporary the uh, noise around regulations and all that doesn't deter that like i i keep working for that so i know that the brain drain is very crazy uh, and 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 all that like but uh, but that's like the only way for some of these uh, you know upcoming startups to survive for now we are doing efforts uh, on all the fronts where you know this education because one thing also web3 does is that it it has kind of normalized the salaries for indian developers right you know previously a 5 year 6 year experience guy he would get like 30 35 lakh rupees salary which is 50000 dollars and in san francisco a college fresh pass out pass out will get like 150k right but here with crypto like those salaries have 
increase a lot and i think that will actually that is the that is a good way to bring a lot of money into india where indian uh, you know developers who are very good developers they get larger share of the of the pie or larger amount of salaries for them that's one of the reasons why we push keep pushing on this education front that can we create let's say 100000 smart contract for blockchain developers from india uh, that will bring in a huge amount of money into india in terms of their you know salaries and all that create like the kind of gift cities we have created right create a offshore onshore right the gift city that they want to create in Guj- gujarat i would say create a gift city in in goa or visakhapatnam near the beach and all that and where you have like one small area not a very big area but and the way we had like special economic zones we should have special crypto zones and within that you can find all the activity but at least keep the talent in india because i can tell you 90% of all the people i know like you know i mean who have moved out of india or this they don't want to you know be out of india to be honest like even i would be much you know why would i leave my home right so uh i think like every entrepreneur like a lot of large number of those entrepreneurs want to stay in india want to build from india and all that but the government needs to provide them that you know at least a virtual uh city or cover which they get let's say in some somewhere like dubai and all that like build a sandbox you know we don't need much for it build a sandbox few buildings few uh, like small area in 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 some city and then say that okay this is a special crypto zone any company registered here is like you know with the 10 year this thing whatever uh, sunset clause or whatever is like a fully uh, you know company and we'll slowly bring in those regulations and everything that we want to do. one part of crypto is that you can actually raise money from outside much easier compared to a you know a web 2 startup like most of the crypto companies they have offshore entities as the issuers right token issuers and things like that so the global uh, investors can pay uh, you know directly to their offshore en- entities they don't even need direct investment into india only i am a de facto investor in all these startups that come like if you speak to 10 20 speak to 10 20 indian startups you will find that you know i am already like always like i, I never even look at that investment it's basically my way of giving back to india whatever that happens if some of them become big i recover my basic principal out i'm happy uh, but yeah like uh, but, but me being there i think they are able to take that okay we we have this and then they can go to the vcs and raise further funds so i am more than happy to uh, do for, uh, for all the indian startups message is very clear that don't get deterred by the regulations find a way find a way to keep building keep building whether it's in india outside of india keep building the products because you know like this this next this this era is is going to be ours fight fight it out and uh, whether it's india whether it's outside you know you will get capital we help them to get capital there have been a, a lot of like ecosystem funds and all that we have uh, you know kind of created sort of like uh, created those relationships where anybody comes to us if they are a good team we refer them to that you know please see them and all that so they get uh, funding and all that out of 300 working days that you have because you would have 300 working days uh, you know because you have to work extra like 6 days at least but out of those 300 days 30 days 20 30 days are the days which are good days rest 270 days you are you are scared always like you know what's going to happen is this daily going to work out this that you are always self doubting and all that but those 30 days are good and out of that like 5 days are really good which keeps you keep you going so if you are an entrepreneur and if you keep working keep working keep working you you reach a point where that magic point happens and those 5 days come to you or those 20 30 days come to you so as an entrepreneur whenever that is happening you know you just need to just need to know that you know you are progressing marching towards that magic time and then that will come that will come there will be less but that will come and it will be very satisfying so keep working don't don't give uh, give hope give up hope uh, on that is is my learning outside sapiens sapiens from yuval harari 
I am actually not that big of a gamer. I only play like FIFA. Ethereum. Then I would be doing some other product in crypto only. But I would I would not go anywhere. I would just whatever like I am here for life now. Dips. <laughs>